So today we're we're looking at the new linking functionality in Spinnaker, the new release of SCORE. I think you're you're all familiar attendees, so I think you're you're fully aware of uh, Spinnaker. Um, so a bit of background to, to linking in SCORE. Currently, uh, SCORE uses the Markdown notation, which is is quite it's been really convenient for quickly formatting text, and creating tables, links, etc. But the drawback's always been it's it's somewhat technical. Um, on top of that, we've we have created our own internal system of IDs to, to link processes between each other um, and linking process to process or, or objects within a process required a short code to be written in, which included the, the process object IDs, which has done the job to date, but we all knew that this could be we much improved uh, to create a much better experience, both for the for the editors and the and the end users. So I, I suppose, why do we need linking? Um, Scores, scores designed for you to build short focused processes versus your big integrated maps. So we're very much focused on people creating, if I go back to the workspace for a moment, is, is, is creating these short and sharp processes. And the benefits to, to doing that is that we can assign process owners, so we can have separate process owners for, for, for the short, sharp pieces of process that we have in our, in our process library. We can create snapshots of processes, so perfect for doing sort of bite sized analysis, as is 2B analysis or com comparison type analysis to do some sort of focused. Uh, I don't know whether it's um, looking at quantification of a particular process or looking at a focused um, area of a particular department's processes. Um, we can also share the right processes with the right people, so it makes it much easier to share the right processes to, to, to where we want them to go and restricting access rights. So. We're only sharing the element of the process that we want to uh, to share with the, with the right people. Um, so they're seeing the right processes. But of course, now we've broken down all those processes into these, these short, sharp processes. We need to make it easy for the end user to to easily view the processes and, and navigate through this this process library that we've created. So what the new functionality, the new linking functionality allows us to do and, and what it brings is is it allows us as editors to make this navigation from map to map invisible uh, or attempt to be invisible for the for the end user. And with the, the UPM methodology, the, the universal process notation methodology that, that underpins SCORE, we're creating simple processes that should be simple and accessible to read. So the most popular way to, to share processes with the end user is to create and share landing pages. So again, I think you're all familiar with, with the landing pages. And this is a, a place where we can house the processes in our library um, and allow users to easily find the processes available to them. So we might have multiple um, landing pages. I'm just going to put people in from the lobby. So we all have multiple. We might have multiple landing pages within the uh, within the uh, process library. So I've got an example landing page here today, um, and it's aptly labelled the, the Score Labs process library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take you through an end to end um, look at, you know, from a from a landing page, uh, how to create links to to external processes or, or processes that the other processes within the workspace. We'll also look at um, how we can now create links to, to different objects within score. So how we can create links to, to systems and, and roles and we'll look at creating links within a process. So. This is definitely a, more of a sort of a, a look and feel functionality session. So do um, shout with any questions. Um, we're going to walk through it through it together. So, right, without further ado, I've got a, a landing page here. Um, and what I've done here is if, if I go into view mode, what I have is uh, these are actually what boxes. Um, that are I've made them clickable, so not not really a, a link, but a type of link. Um, so for every what box now, um, I can create. If I show you in the, if I go back to edit mode, I click into here. Uh, yes, for my my style sheet. Um, what I've done is 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 made the when, when the box has a detailed view. So this particular box you'll see I've made the the, the icon transparent. Um, but this particular box has a detailed view, so I can make this entire box clickable. So because it's got a detailed view, when I go into edit mode, I can click this and it takes me into the lower level. So I'm now one level down. I'm inside the marketing um, 
swap box or, or button, um, if you like. So I can use that to create some quite funky looking landing pages. So uh, a link of, of some sorts. Um, and then what I'm what I'm going to show you is how I can then link off to various different processes. So these are just uh, some example processes that I've uh, picked out. But I know that I've got a marketing process within the within the library that I want to link out to. So I can double click into here. And I can select this this text here. Now what you'll see um, for those new to for those new to Spinnaker is that I now have the option. Um, so we've, we've done away with uh, Markdown, although it's still supported. Uh, we've now got an added layer of this um, what we call a, a, a what you see is what you get editor, a full text editor. So this is the um, this is the the, the sort of the, the brief um, uh, the brief full text editor. So I've got things like making things bold. I do have the linking icon there, but what I can do is click this little button here, and that's going to open the full text editor. The full text editor is available for any um, for any text box um, in Spinnaker. So I can select that text here. So this is the text that I want to link um, something to. In this case, I want to link to the marketing process. Um, so I've selected the text there. I've, I now need to find the link option. So I've already got a link here. But now I'm going to find the process that I want to link to. So now I've opened this, this linking uh, box up. You'll see that I've got a number of different tabs. So I can create an external link that we have today. I can link to a current process. I can link to another process, roles and systems, which we'll come on to a little bit later. But I want to link to another process within the workspace. So the first thing you'll see is that I have a, a selector box. So I know that the marketing process exists somewhere in my workspace. So I can type in marketing and I've got the, the marketing process there. Now I only want to link to this specific uh, process, so I don't want to select a particular box, but I do have the option to select a particular box within that workspace. So I'm going to uh, modify the link because there was an existing link there, or otherwise it would say create link. And before I move away, I'll just highlight this bit here so we can open this link in a new tab. So what this button will do um, is if I were to select it, if a user was clicking that link, it would then open the, the marketing process up in a, in a new tab as opposed to navigating within the same the same uh, browser tab. Uh, but I don't want to do that for, for the moment. So modify the link. Um, what that will do is if there wasn't a link there already, it would create an underline. If I close the, the full text editor, there is now a, a link there. And when I click that button, it should now take me to the marketing process. So I've created that association, that link now to the marketing process. And what I might do is, is create a backlink back to the uh, the example um, landing page if I wanted to, which why not do that now? So a note box, um, I don't know, call it go back to landing page. Go through the same process again, so selecting that text clicking the link, going to another process. I type in the words landing page. I can then select that from the from the list, insert the link. And that should allow me to go back to the landing page and that back up to the top level. Of course, if I wanted to go back into marketing itself. I could select this particular object within the process. Is there anybody anybody got any questions at this stage or anything they want to shout out? I'll take silence as, as no, it's, it's, it's just it's a lot slicker, isn't it, Sam? Knowing how it is today in school and how it is in Spinnaker, it's just a lot more user friendly to be able to find those links. You're not jotting down codes and numbers and stuff. That's right. You'll see if I yeah. So what Chris is alluding to is that is the process ID. So uh, previously it would have been a case if I wanted to link to a specific object or or a process itself, I'd have to find the, the process ID. I'd have to select a box, understand the the object ID, and then create that that short code. So both creating and ending links has become, uh, as Chris said, a much a much slicker process. So that extends to. Um, 
to roles and systems. So that's just a bit of an example. I've created uh, a box here. So I was trying to think of applications um, for this. And I think the, the, the main application that, that I uncovered was uh, was landing pages. So on a, a landing page, maybe it's a department landing page like we got here, or perhaps it's, a, I don't know, a project landing page. We might want to include a quick link um, for our member users to, to look at the, the roles that appear in each of these processes so they can start to have a look at some of the data that sits behind them. So I've created a marketing manager link. Again, uh, if I wanted to create a head of digital link to a specific role, I can use the a quick edit there to go to the uh, the insert link. I can go to roles and I can search for head of digital. It's now fully searchable. I can select head of digital, insert the link. And now when I click head of digital, it should take me to the role manager with the head of digital. So I'm now in the the uh, the workspace wide role manager for this particular role. And the back link takes me back to the process itself. So and the same the same could be said for systems. So I can create a systems box. I can create associations and links from from text to, to systems as well. Uh, is any, any, anybody got any other applications they might think of for for including links to roles and systems? You may not. I, I I can't think of of any off the top of my head, but I think it's it'll be interesting when people get let loose on Spinnaker to see um, what sort of use cases arise. So I'm interested to find out that myself. Yeah, we have a workflow um, system in actual fact, and I can see I, I I keep looking at this and thinking actually that's just what I need in my system to bring it more up to date and uh, make it look a bit a uh, bit snazzier than it does at the moment. Um, so I, I I can see lots of uses for it actually. It's, it's good. And does it matter what that um, what that link is that you're you know what you create as a resource effectively within the? But say that again, Deborah. Does it matter the? Does it, does it matter what resource you create as a box or a link or whatever? Uh, no, so are you talking about whether it's a what box or a note box? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it's anywhere where there's text. So in mm -hmm. theory, where I've got a so I've got a, a Y box here. So any mm -hmm. anywhere any anywhere where there's um, some text. Yeah. I can select that text there, and again, you get that that quick view here, which which does include the link there, or I can open as a full text editor. So this means that any of the editing objects or the the, uh, the process objects like your Y box, your what box, your note box, um, I can create links in. Um, if I'm in a um, if I'm in an attachment panel, I could also create links anywhere where there's text. So in custom fields, if I wanted to, um, or some of the attachments like text and the like. And, and so. could an attachment be a Word document, for instance, or something like that? Uh, when you say, be, I think, so does it have to be? So can it be an external link to something? like a document. So this is the precedent that we've got for that particular process. It, it could indeed. So you could. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually, so as part of the attachment panel, you have the ability to add a URL um, yeah. directly mm -hmm. here. So you don't need to um, select the text and create it in that way. Um, so in the attachment panel itself, if you, yeah. So a good example is a is an external document, perhaps held in a, a document repository like SharePoint mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you might have the, the name of the document and then you can create that that URL link there. Um, yeah. And then that would would create a, a link associated with that particular activity. Mm. And is this available for general use at the moment? Uh, Spinnaker. Spinnaker. Yeah. Yes. Um, it was it will soon to be. We're, we're slowly migrating mm -hmm. customers onto the new platform. Right. Um, okay. I think uh, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's going to begin somewhere in the region of next next week it's so new new customers um are from next week because it's a lot easier it's the migration which is um now in getting its final stages so it's harder for us to migrate a customer onto spinnaker than to set up a new customer if that makes sense is, 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 do you have a do you have a burning platform deborah that you, you or is it what, what's why what's the, re, what's the reason behind the well, question it's just I, I do a lot of consultancy where we're building workflow for people. So yep. we look at all processes that they're going through. Um, 
and that they do on a daily basis. And we build them into our system because that's the workflow engine. Yep. Um, and it, there's a huge amount of automation in our system to send automated emails, link yeah, incoming sure. documents, stuff like that, um, produce PDFs and um, SMSs and, and so on. Um, but the visual display of it isn't very friendly. And this to me looks like it would make it much easier for me to make a nice visual display for our customers of their workflows and the sort of daily process that their, their agents go through and things like that. Uh, no, I can um, see, I can see, I can see why you'd want to get your hands yeah. on it. Uh, so yeah. like I say new customers from, from next week. What yeah. I suggest what I suggest we do is let's get that milestone under the belt and get and, and, and then it's okay. and that's that's been released and then I think um if you, if you want to pick up with us or we can pick up with you probably the week after we can see yeah, are, you, are you look are you looking to migrate or have you got a project where you're kicking off a new workspace or what the best transition approach is yeah. probably a new workspace I think. yeah exactly that's, yeah that's what um, I'm feeling because I think, it's, and and for a new customer I can just sort of see that they exactly. would say wow you know this it, is great. Yeah. You know, we can see our workflows. We know the output of our workflow from the system, and we know it does what it does, and it's very good at what it does, but we don't have a visual display of it. So this gives them a visual display of the whole of their organization well, and their sort of daily processes and everything. Exactly, because there'll still be manual processes that they still to manage, the sort yeah. of people, yeah. So it's that, yeah. uh, it's probably worth a discussion, actually. I'd love to see mm, what yeah. you're thinking and yes. how it works in. That would be good, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Great. Okay, let's do, let's do that then. So, yeah. So we're weeks. Yeah. So and yeah, you you're regular on the drop-in sessions and um, <laughs> and the like. So I think you know we can put you at the top of the, the top of the the um the queue on um on that. So what I said. Yeah. Let's let's pick up off offline out of the drop-in okay. session. Yeah. No, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Sorry to. to no, 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 no. That's, that's fine. That's fine. This is what this this is what these sessions are for. <laughs> exactly what exactly what they're for. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, well, while well, well, just Chuck spinning around, you're actually quite keen to see what what you're visualising in your brain and how that could look. And yeah, yeah, you, you don't want to see what's inside my brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, just on the process side of things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So the the only other thing that I wanted, so I've shown you links to you know in in the form of a dashboard. So um, quite easily allowing you know giving the ability to present your processes in a different way and, and link them together. Um, what's also an interesting aspect of the, the new linking functionality is the ease in which we can create uh, or associate links between objects. Um, so if I create a link, so creating a link both from object to object within a process, but also outside of a process to, a, to another process. And a good example of that is where an outcome of one process becomes the trigger for a next. So here we've got the, the marketing process we've just linked from the, the main dashboard itself. And we have our input of business objectives. We have a series of activities that take us through to, um, you know, the, the the last activity of reporting on the campaign, and that that outcome there 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 then is the sales process. So, as a as a user, I can I can I, I don't have the ability to to go anywhere from this apart from back to the workspace, back to the dashboard, and go and find the sales process. Or as an editor, I can make that journey slightly easier, slightly simpler, um, and create a link there yeah. so um, when I double click into here again it's 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 highlighting the text that I want to link to I go into the uh, to the linking uh, modal window and I can link to another process in this case and in this case it's the sales uh, the sales process itself but I want to link to the actual output uh, or the input into that particular activity into that particular um, process itself so I can search for for why boxes um, actually, I can't, um, and I've forgotten what the the input to that sales process is. So I'm just going to go back to the sales process and have a look at. Bear with me. So our input that we want to link to is we have marketing strategy. So perhaps our outcome should be marketing strategy. I'm going to copy that particular text. I'm going to change my text in here to be marketing strategy I link that text to the other process so it's the sales process and now I'm going to look oh, now I'm going to look for 
uh, marketing yeah. strategy. We can see that this is this is the Y box. I'm going to insert that link and I'm hoping always dodge on a live demo that takes me through to the, the sales process. Now that should highlight there um, that particular activity because that's what I'm, I'm linking to. Um, so I'll make sure that's implemented. Um, but yes, yeah, so it should take you to that activity. It will highlight that activity um, and take you in there. Now we can do a, a very similar thing um, for navigation within a process. So if we take uh, marketing generated leads as an example, and I go into the lower level of detail of this generate leads, we should see the same act, the same output here. So I can create a, a, another link that allows me to navigate quite quickly up a level and, and, and on to the next, the next activity. Um, so again, it's a case of selecting that here, linking in the current process, and then we can go and select that box and then go and select uh, marketing generated leads wherever that might be, that, that Y box there. And again, I can create that link. And hopefully it takes me through somewhere. Again, the the demos are always always fun in covering these uh, these slight issues. So there we go. That's really what I wanted to show you guys today in terms of the new linking functionality. Um, I hope it was worth I hope it was worth turning up for. <laughs> Uh, any any other any other comments questions related to linking or or otherwise from anybody